Both of these incidents were caused by the same thing. Do you know what it is? If you don't know what caused these incidents, that's honestly crazy because it's one of the most fundamental concepts in racing. If we go back to both incidents, we can see that there were two cars involved, one ahead and one behind. But there are two things that we need to focus on. One is that the car behind is the one that lost control. The second thing is that the car behind was closely following a car ahead. You might be asking, why does this matter? These were just incidents caused by driver error. Yes, you're right, they were caused by driver error. But what actually caused the drivers to make the error? That my friends is called dirty air. Dirty air is produced by all cars when they're going fast on track. It comes from the rear of cars so imagine it kind of like exhaust fumes but invisible and dangerous. Before I explain what dirty air does you have to understand what downforce is. Downforce is the force that pushes the car's tires onto the track increasing the grip. The higher the downforce the more grip the car has allowing it to take corners faster. With higher downforce comes less top speed. This means that if you lower downforce you'll have less grip and less cornering speed but a higher top speed. Now onto dirty air. Dirty air reduces your downforce by a lot. What this means is that pretty much it makes you faster but it reduces your cornering speed. This is how slipstream works but I'll talk about that later. It's important to note that dirty air mainly affects downforce cars like F1, Super Formula, F4, etc. Since GT cars rely mainly on mechanical grip more than aerodynamic grip, it doesn't affect them as much. If you're following another car through a high speed corner like Puhan that needs a lot of downforce, then you're likely to crash since the dirty air takes away your downforce. Dirty air acts randomly and it's pretty much impossible to predict when it will come and where it comes, so you should always be prepared. We can't get rid of dirty air, but we can minimize its effects. Here's how. Use a slightly different racing line than the driver ahead. If you're really unsure, then you can lift a little bit before the turn to increase the distance between you and the driver ahead. Keep in mind that this applies for high speed corners like Eau Rouge and Radion. That's all you can really do to avoid dirty air. The rest of it is up to you. You'll have to brake a bit harder and earlier in dirty air and learn how to counter steer. Now look at this overtake. Do you know why the Porsche overtook the Mercedes? It wasn't a better exit or a lower downforce setup. It was because of slipstream. Slipstream is the speed boost you gain from being behind another car on a straight. Remember how I said that dirty air decreases downforce? Less downforce means that your car goes faster. This is why you see drivers staying behind cars ahead of them on straights. Slipstream is a very powerful tool for overtaking but it turns into a huge disadvantage the moment you have corners. Slipstream Streaming is really common in ovals and can be seen a lot in series like NASCAR and IndyCar, but it can also be used in other series like F1 or GTWC. Now you know what dirty air and slipstream are, so let's analyze both incidents that we saw earlier. The first one took place in 2010 at the European Grand Prix. The onboard car was Mark Webber and the car ahead was Nico Rosberg. Webber was trying to overtake Rosberg and he had a really strong slipstream behind him. Since Weber was in Rosberg's dirty air, it reduced his downforce. Formula cars rely a lot on downforce for braking, so it reduced his car's braking ability. With this reduced downforce and braking ability, Weber crashed into the back of Rosberg. Fortunately, both of them were unharmed. The second incident took place in 2021 at the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. The onboard car was Max Verstappen and the car ahead was Carlos Sainz. Verstappen was chasing Sainz and trying to pass him. Similar to the previous incident, the dirty air from the car ahead messed up Max's braking. Since Max was pretty far from Sainz, he didn't crash into him but only went off track. To sum it up, dirty air and slipstream are two different effects of turbulent air coming from the car ahead. One is good and one is bad. One happens in straights and the other happens in corners. Since you made it to the end of this video, that means two things. One, you learned something new about racing that will help you get faster. Two, 
you found my video entertaining. If you want to level up your driving to the next level, click this video on screen to learn how to properly trail brake.